I'm here at the uh, the dock side here in Valdez. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you around. We'll see some of the sights. Check it out. What's up guys? I'm here in Valdez, Alaska. Got Mike Patey here is about, he's got to burn off some fuel. So I'm going to get a couple of his takeoffs and landings. It's raining hard. There's hardly any airplanes out here. As you can see, the ramp is virtually empty because of this weather. It's just relentless rain here in Valdez. I'm hiding under this little uh, awning here to see if I can video some of Mike's takeoffs. Let's see what we get. He's taxiing out now. Set my feet. Okay, here we go. He'll come up on the power. We should be able to see that propeller really whipping that water around. It's raining pretty hard. Mike Patey in Draco. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Pretty heavy precip. Just amazing. Look at that thing. He does his pushover once as he reaches the pattern altitude there. He's practicing right hand turns just to keep the turns um, away from the crowd. There's no crowd. You kind of expected there to be one, but the weather's so bad. Let me zoom out a little bit, get some of the mountain in the background. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Valdez is spectacular. If you have not been able to make it out here, you really should check it out. So this is looking, looking to the uh, east there. Several airplanes have made it in. Not as many as we'd hoped. Hopefully they'll, the weather will give us some windows and it'll clear up a little bit. Got another aircraft coming in. Let's get him. Get him in the show here. It's like a bush, bush Cessna. Look at that, beautiful. Greased it in like an old pro. Welcome to Valdez, my friend. Beautiful straight tail Cessnas too. I love those older designs. I think they should go back to them. They're just fantastic. No reason to sweep a tail when they're that slow. Just absolutely no reason whatsoever other than looks. That's a pretty one. I like it. Welcome. Okay, and let's look over here. We got Gary Ward's uh, MXS aircraft or MX2, I think, the two-seat version. 
He just did a little uh, demonstration for us a few minutes ago and then got a, another aircraft, a decathlon it looks like. Beautiful airplane. Then looking down the ramp here towards the west, we got a lot of bush planes. Looks like CeCe Pocock and Toby Ashley tucked in there along with the Cub Crafters float plane FX3 and some other airplanes. Beautiful. Love it. Got fire and rescue out there too. Okay, here comes Mike Patey. Kind of hard to see him in the rain out there, but he's right in the center of the screen. He's about to turn right base. There's his turn. I'm having to step out in the rain a little bit so that I can maintain a clear view of the aircraft as it approaches the runway. So he'll begin to uh, trim the aircraft. The control surfaces on Draco are quite heavy. In fact, uh, on takeoff roll, it's got so much elevator pressure required to pull it off the ground that you have to almost use trim to be able to have the strength to overcome the control surface. And so look at that angle of attack. He's already in a good three-point configuration behind the power curve. And I don't know if you can hear that, but he does have some power still in the throttle. The Wilga, Draco is very draggy. So you do need a good amount of power to bring it in for landing. And he literally will hold the power until the ground and then immediately throw it into reverse. So watch as he approaches the ground, I'll zoom out a little bit. You'll watch he'll stall it several feet above the ground. That tail wheel will touch first by several feet. Look at that, four feet above the ground. Tail wheel touches, he slams it into beta, and there you go. A beautiful Draco landing, probably 100 feet there or so. So pretty long for Mike. He can definitely do shorter than that. But he does have a lot of fuel in right now. He's burning off, he's got to burn off about 50 gallons for the competition tomorrow. So that's what he's doing right now. So another takeoff. You'll notice he does not have good angle of attack to be able to lift off sooner. The airplane's ready to fly before it has the angle of attack to be able to fly. So that's going to cost him a little bit on his takeoff roll. I think it's costing him a good 30 feet. I think he could take off a lot shorter if he could get that angle of attack up a little bit more. Uh, we'll get a little bit different vantage point on this takeoff. This will be fun. So he'd just be on the windsock there in the uh, turf right alongside the runway. Here he goes. Holy cow, that thing just rockets up. All right, looks like he's gonna do another landing. I love it. Gotta love it. Look at that landing. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm
watching please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to take it a step further hit the share button post it on your wall on Instagram or Facebook but share it share aviation with the friends it's the only way we're gonna preserve the freedom to do it um, is by using it if you don't use it you'll lose it peace out boom <laughs>